Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can exit the app with values. So how you can do useful things, how you can return values from within your app and how you can use them in your code. So the code in front of you has a very simple application. This app has a button and when the button is pressed I exit the application. And the standard way in which you run this is inside in your code, there's a app equals app equals exit app and then I'm running the app. And so this run method that makes the app run, this is just a regular method inside regular Python code. So when the app is done running, the execution of my script will continue to the next line. And so obviously after I exit my app, I can I can do other things. So for example, I can say I'm done, right? So you shouldn't be surprised that now if I run my application, sorry, if I run my application, and if I press exit, after the application exits, I can see the I'm done, right? So what you can do, because your applications might run and then they might finish and you might want to do other things inside your code is when you're exiting the app, you can actually give it and you might see over there the, the signature of the function, you can give it a result. So I can say that I'm going to exit with a, I don't know, with a number. And so we can say number equals app.run. And so the, the what, what I want to show you with this is that when you exit with a value, that value gets returned from the app.run method. And so I can actually print the number here. Let's just print the number. And so when I run the app and I exit, I expect to see a 42 printed there. And that's because I exited the app with a 42. And then I grab the number from the app.run method. And in here, when you're exiting with a value, this value, this is the type that you should have if your code is typed. This is the type you should have in your app generic. So if your app is going to be returning integers, then you type your app like that. This, I didn't change the functionality, only the type hints. There's two other things you can add to your exit method. You can set the return code, and you're supposed to use non-zero values for different error types, and that's up to you to determine what values are going to mean what. And there's also a message which can be any renderable, so it doesn't have to be a simple string, it can be any renderable, any rich renderable you want, a message that will be printed automatically when the app finishes running. So let's see, let's try to add a message equals hello world, I don't know, something. And now I'm going to run my app, there's no message here obviously, and when I exit, you will see that the message was printed even before we got a chance to print the 42. So this was printed when we exited the app. So using these return values, you can actually build very interesting apps, small apps, simple apps that do useful things for your scripts. And I think in a future video, I'll be showing you an example of this. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you to be aware of how to use the exit method and how to get values from within your applications. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.